Assalamu alaikum boys and girls. How are you all? I hope you all are doing good. Are you excited for another story? I know I am. So let's get started. Today I'm going to tell you a story called The Painful Death of Abu Lahab. Abu Lahab's real name was Abd Abdul Uzza. Uzza was uh, one of the idols that the people of Makkah used to worship and Abdul Uzza means the man of Uzza. So he was the uncle of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. When Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam started calling people towards Islam, Abu Lahab became his greatest enemy. He started hurting our dear Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and other Muslims very badly. It was a regular day in Makkah. People in Makkah, including Abu Lahab, were waiting anxiously for any news about who won the Battle of Badr. Suddenly, they saw horses and camels. It was Abu Sufyan. He looked worried. Abu Lahab called him and asked him what happened in the battle. So Abu Lahab uh, did not um, participate in the Battle of Badr because um, he was sick or something. I don't know. But he did not go and he sent um, a person on his behalf uh, to fight. So he was waiting anxiously and other people who were in Makkah were also waiting anxiously for any news uh, to reach them about who won the battle. So Abu Sufyan told Abu Lahab that Muslims won the battle and big leaders of Makkah had died. He also said that there were strange men among the Muslims wearing white robes who killed many leaders. A poor Muslim named Abu Rafi uh, was also listening to all this. He said happily that those strange men were angels. Abu Lahab got so angry that he started beating that poor Muslim. Lubaba, who was the wife of Abu Lahab's brother, Hazrat Abbas, came forward and beat Abu Lahab with a pole that wounded his head very badly. She told Abu Lahab to leave that poor man alone and go away. Lubaba was also a Muslim. So Lubaba was uh, Sayyida Lubaba, I would say rather, that she was um, the wife of Hazrat Abbas, who was also the uncle of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. She had accepted Islam in Makkah, and um, you know when she saw that Abu Lahab was beating that poor Muslim, she came forward and uh, she just beat him with a pole, I guess, and uh, she did not uh, think that I'm a woman. How can I, you know, face this man? Uh, she just came forward and hit him. Abu Lahab went away but the wound on his head got infected and the infection spread to his entire body. His body developed big and painful pustules from which blood and pus oozed out. So pustules were like big bumps on his body and you know they would just ooze blood and um, pus and you know all that disgusting stuff. So everyone left him alone in his house even his own sons. He died after one week. After his death, no one even came close to his dead body and even his sons because his body smelled so bad. Then the neighbors said to Abu Lahab's son, Abu Lahab's son to bury their father. They sent slaves who pushed his body in a grave with a pole and stones were thrown on top of his dead body. This was a painful death of the enemy of Allah and his messenger. So this is how uh, Abu Lahab died a painful death and nobody even uh, you know wanted to come near his dead body and uh, you know they just threw his body on the grave with a pole they didn't even touch it and threw stones on top of it and the punishment of hell awaited him so may allah guide us all the right path and i hope you guys enjoyed the story share it with your family and friends and i'll inshallah see you in the next one till then fi amanallah